Hey everyone, just editor Linksy chiming in here. My opinion does change the more I think about this update. So do stick through the video because my initial reaction is quite negative. But I talk more later on about how this will actually be when it comes out. Especially after there are some more details revealed. Enjoy the video. Am I hot? Sky, I didn't expect it today. I thought it would be fri uh, Friday or Monday. Okay. Oh, I'm shaking. My hands are shaking. I'm scared. Changed. Reduce the time it takes to switch back to Charlotte to one point uh, one and a half second. Fantastic. Perfect. That's what I wanted. So it's half the time. Reduce the time to unbind Victor. I don't think it was needed. We take that. Reduce the time to charge Victor's pounce. Very, very, very good as well. These are all very good changes. Very, very good. We like them a lot. <laughs> this is a bit scary. I did the ability to recall uh, Victor any time while he is unbound. Yeah, brilliant. At any time. Okay, huge, huge. Very good. That's all buffs. That's all buffs. Um, added the ability to change between Victor and Charlotte near a hooked survivor. Wait, what? We have made switching between Victor and Charlotte more responsive and given the killer the ability to recall Victor anytime so they feel better to play. Be warned, the anti-face camp meter will still fill if you're too close. Really? What? Okay. I did ability to change between... I don't understand this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to switch under the hook now. That's some really, really, really huge buffs. Did they nerf anything? Is the question. Did they nerf anything? Update add-ons. Um, updated. Seven add-ons. Victor's pounce no longer latches onto healthy survivors. Victor can no longer be kicked after successful pounces, which do not latch onto a survivor. What? Victor's pounce now lodges onto a survivors when they are put into the dying state. Other survivors can crush Victor during this to help the dying survivor. Victor will automatically return to Charlotte after 20 seconds. Yeah, so they killed snowballing. Yeah, so I was correct to them, right? Victor is attached to a survivor. <sighs> or holding survivor. What? While Victor is attached to a survivor. Or ho Wait, but they just said he can't be attached. I don't understand. No longer attack latches. What does that mean? So he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't hold on to people. So if you pounce near a survivor, he cannot be kicked. He attaches when he downs somebody instead and he can't be kicked. So he can't snowball anymore. Okay. Victor can no longer be kicked after successful pounces, which do not latch onto a survivor. This which do not latch. What does that mean though? You just said it doesn't latch. It's around. Victor will now be more effective at injuring more survivors instead of Sis Charlotte, who now moves faster while Victor is latched on. In picking up survivors, this makes it possible for Charlotte to both injure and down survivor without being forced to switch back to Charlotte in between. Yeah, so this is why I'm scared. I was correct. I was correct. I was right about everything. And this is what I was talking about yesterday. Um, but you know, if this turns out to be shit, which it probably will be, um, no one will play twins, like I thought. But we will, we will, it's definitely interesting. Oh! The new uh, visual heartbeat radius will now include Victor grunts. I don't like that. Victor will now glow red whenever he's vulnerable to being crushed. He already does that, though. And we have added the visual to improve accessibility. And added a red glow to Victor when he's vulnerable. But he already did that. Yeah, I don't like it. Everything I said yesterday still stands. I don't like it. So it's, it's everything I was fearing. You see, what will happen, chat? You down someone? You're not going to go over to the person on the floor. See that 10% haste? You now have a killer as 10% haste and hits you. You wait 20 seconds, you have Victor back, you now down this person. You have 10% haste, you now go to another survivor. Hit them, wait 20 seconds, you have- the People aren't going to stop slugging. This is everything I feared. And you watch me be correct. I might not be. I might not be. But this is my mindset, right? You down with Victor, you go back to Charlotte. Where would you pick up? You have 10% haste. You can get a hit within 10 seconds. Shire gains... Yeah, why is that? So 20 seconds, you have 10% haste. That's a lot. Hit someone. Oh, they're injured. Now you go slug more. This does not... This does not stop slugging at all. This does not stop slugging. This makes slugging worse. And I'm, you're going to see. Instead of people now slugging with Victor, they're now going to slug with Charlotte. Well, they're just... You're going to have twins matches that are going to be even longer. Because they're just going to take full advantage of this 20 seconds. 
I'm gonna have to play it, but it's like you have 20 seconds. You you will see because of this 10% haste, this is going to be terrible. And if you get rid of this, no one will play to it. Like it's still it's not the same. What's gonna happen when you down someone? Someone's standing right there. Remember what I said? What happens when you down someone with Victor? And they're halfway across the map, and Victor's holding that person. What's going to happen? You're not gonna go over there. You're just gonna use that ten percent time. I don't like this. I, I, the add-ons, I don't know. The thing is, it's like, I really like you can switch under the hook. I really like you can get Victor back at any time. So the only time you won't have Victor is when he's on a down survivor. But that doesn't fix slugging. I don't. Do they really generally think? You'll down a survivor and you just won't go to them? No! It's exactly what I said yesterday. That 10... I even said 10%. That 10% haste? People aren't going to run to the hook. No, if you've downed them far away, you're going to just leave them there and use that to hit other people. 20 seconds, you got Victor again. Down with Victor again. What do you do? 10% haste. Hit another person. 20 seconds, Victor back. Down another person. If the slug is near me, then I'll pick them up. Of course. But oh, it's just... Oh my god, it, it's it's not going to fix the problem. I mean, will twins be stronger like this? That's hard to say. They're going to be very different. I don't actually hate it. I'm, I'm gonna be, I don't know yet. I don't hate it, but it doesn't fix the problem that they're trying to fix. It might even make it worse, and that's the problem, right? Because they've kind of made it worse, you're still going to have people complain about slugging, and then they might over-nerf them. That's, that's the thing. But I've really... Oh, I don't know. It's really bizarre. I can't get my head around it. It's so fucking weird. It's so weird. Because it doesn't fix the issue. It doesn't fix the issue. This doesn't stop people slugging, which is what the whole point of them doing this was. Does it make twins a better killer? I don't know yet. I think they're going to be more annoying. Like, honestly, I think this is going to make them more annoying. Generally. It's just not very effective to dash over Charlotte. Exactly. Especially if somebody is there. People will still be slugged. I'd rather them have added an anti-slug mechanic where you crawl over and you can heal yourself. Because then if you leave them too long on the floor, then, then you're like taking too long because you're not playing very effectively. Giving survivors an option to get up themselves gives you like, you're like, oh, why I have to? Now I kind of, because I'm not playing well enough. I'm not applying enough pressure. But you understand what I mean? If people are close by and you can down people close by, um, that is them fucking up. And if the uh, anti-slug thing mechanic I'm talking about takes a long time, let's say 90 seconds, two minutes, and I think you slugged on for four minutes, then it's like, okay, you can get away with it because they're close by. But if you're like slugging really long periods of time and you're going across the map doing that, doing that, then that punishes all this. And, uh, it's a mess. Yeah, it's quicker. It's quicker. I, I really do like that. I do. That's what I wanted. So what is this? Okay, you down them. But this doesn't stop slugging! Like, as I told you, chat. As I told you. What's... This is my prediction. See if I'm right. This is gonna come out. You know what you do? You do this. You go to somebody else with a 10%. You hit them with a 10% speed boost. You get Victor back. You down that person. They now have 20 seconds. Now what you do, you either hook this guy or you continue what I just said you do. Now you now you continue to Simpson haste and hit them and you're down on Victor. What does that mean? That means people will slug more. And you know what that means? To baby won't like it and nerf them. And that's what's gonna happen. I'm telling you now. How do you fix all this? I have pfft, Don't ask me, I don't work for behavior. It's I don't know. It's very like very big changes when they really should have like asked twins mains and be like, hey, Maybe you could playtest this. Imagine if they messaged me a month ago. Made me playtest this. I'll say, okay, well, this is the problem with this. People are down. People will 10% speed boost someone else and then go with this. The only thing I don't understand, well, I have a question. Can they heal when he's on the floor on them like this? I wonder if they can recover at all. And there's like 20 seconds on the floor. I, I don't know. Is another thing can no longer be kicked off as successful. So what does that mean? You just injure people and they can't do anything? They can't kick you? Doesn't that also feel terrible? I... My god, man. I mean... 
It's going to be very weird. There's going to be things that you shouldn't do about twins that aren't going to be relevant anymore. It's going to be very uh, messy. Uh, if they're weaker, I can't say. They're just going to be very frustrating in other ways. Kicking was such a fun thing. Well, the thing is, you can kick him if you miss, but you can't kick him when he's successful. But isn't that going to be terrible? So what, he injures you, you run away, you can't kick him, and then he just downs you? Isn't that horrible? Right? You can injury snowball? Am I, am I, like, missing something? Doesn't this mean, literally, that I can injure them and then I can just down them? Instant switch to Charlotte in the down cooldown. You can't use Victor for 15 seconds. If I messed up and there's not another survivor there, they get a free kick. You know what I mean? And then give it a 10% haste. It. Oh, I literally made a video about this. It's... I don't fucking know. Honestly, because, because of them being so slow... It's like, they can't overslug because they're so slow. But because they'll be really fast, you can just... Oh my god, it, it's... I'm telling you now, chat, people are not going to be happy with this. I don't know. I can't... I don't... I don't hate it because there's still going to be ways that you can get a little snowball. But this doesn't necessarily make me hook people faster. It Because I can't like just use Victor forever I want. I'm going to have to just hit people more with Charlotte. And it's probably going to take a long time to do that. I don't know. It's very different. It's going to take a bit of time to get used to it. That's if they don't, like, completely change it again. I, I don't think I hate it. But it, it's... The only reason I don't hate it that much is because of the 10% speed. But it's just... I don't know. I'm really sad about this. But it's weird because... Hear me out on this, right? Survivors near Victor while he is latched are no longer revealed. Oh, do they mean, like, on the floor? So you won't know when they're being healed up? But then why would you hook them? Oh, my God. It's just... I don't know, man. It's gonna be a, a mess. It's just... Oh, I don't know. I don't hate the changes, but I think my changes would w work healthier for the game and keeps Twins very similar to its core idea. It makes it less confusing for new survivors and make it more optimal for ca survivors to counter them by making, like, Victor can't... Even making it so as soon as you hear Victor's grunts, you get about a second's grace and you don't hear the killer instincts. St stuff like that, so people have more of a chance to actually crouch and counter that. You know what I mean? Making Victor die under the hook. Making Victor a longer cooldown. He's eight second cooldown. You kick him, he goes back out, he goes up, back out. People really don't like that. Um, you know, and the thing with my idea with Victor and Charlotte switching positions, if I down with Victor, I'm like, okay, I'll switch positions and then I can go with Charlotte. If I'm like, oh, I want Victor to defend this generator and I want to go over there, I can switch positions. And it opens up so many more, like, complex, interesting plays. With this, it's like, oh, so what, I hit someone over a pallet? Wouldn't I just use Victor all the time? Couldn't I? Okay, there's another thing I need to think about. Couldn't I just go with Victor? Injure Claudette. Injure Meg. Injure Dwight. They can't do anything. They can't kick me. Isn't that literally possible now? Oh my god, it's the, the more I think about this, the more I think about this, the worse it's getting. Oh my god. I should be happy, don't get me wrong. I should be happy because they might, I think they're going to be very, very annoying, very, very strong. I don't know, I guess it is also like Legion, Legion can do that. Twins really just became Legion without mend. Yeah, I really enjoyed like Victor latching onto people and like... And you have that whole, like, tracking and everything. I don't know. Twins are either going to be... I think they're still going to be very, very sluggy. I think mean, they're still going to be very, very sluggy. I think they're going to be very annoying to play against. Maybe more annoying to play against. And, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I imagine the person on the floor will have a victor icon on them. And then maybe you won't get him back if you crush him. See, like, this bit's a bit unclear, because if you crush him when they're on the, when he's on the down survivor, then you know that someone's there, and you either have a choice to go back there again, or just pressure our points to the map. They're going to be very annoying to play against. So Viticus still down survivors, but can't injure them. No, he can, I think so. Because it says, look, look at this, where is it? It says, um, Victor's pounce no longer latches onto healthy survivors. No longer be kicked after successful pounces, which do not latch onto a survivor. You understand what I mean? So if you hit someone, then they can't kick you. I've always said this is a bad idea. I think being able to kick Victor's great. 
Like, that's not, that shouldn't be changed. Make it so Victor can't be placed under a hook. Y you understand what I mean? You take some stuff back and give them some stuff. Again, twins are not weak. They're not weak. They don't need to throw out buffs. I think they're going to be better to play, but they're... It's very different. It's... I don't know. What are they... <laughs> what are they thinking? <laughs> he can still be kicked if he misses. <laughs> it's only... It's only affects successor. You need the dodge and then kick him. Oh my god. This old legion. <sighs> People are going to hate this. People are going to hate this. I... People have literally suggested this change to me and I've explained why it's such a bad idea. Oh my god. If you hate twins before, you're gonna absolutely hate this one. You can't dodge a good victor though. I know! I know! I know! Get back in what a mess. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Do you do double tap? You literally hit, hit, hit four people? Down that guy, 10%, down that guy, Victor back in 20 seconds, down that guy, oh my god, oh my god, what are they thinking, what are they thinking, it's good for me, but it's, uh, this is, this is, this is scary, these are some scary changes, I, <laughs> what a fucking mess, I don't, I don't think it's as bad though, but now I've had to think about it more, I don't, think they're going to actually be much worse they're just going to be a lot more annoying in a lot of different ways what if we gave legion one of the strongest chase powers in the game but then also let them teleport with haste when they down someone what could go wrong what could go wrong what could possibly go wrong with that you know no they will rethink this i don't know how they're gonna fix it i don't know how they're gonna fix it andrus i have no idea i still think they should go with my changes i'm sorry i'm a bit biased because it's my opinion but I still think they need to fix it. Like, I don't think this is healthy for the game. I really don't. Okay. I had some time to figure about these changes. And I wanted to, like, add that at the end of the video here. Because, uh, you know, when I first saw this, I was very, like, a lot to take in. And I've really been thinking about these changes a lot. Uh, so right now, with twins, if you down people and you slug... You take a very long time to do anything. You take a very long time to get across the map, right? Yeah, you cannot snowball with Victor, but you will just be so fast with Charlotte. Like, you can literally just, like, hit... Okay, you can just, like, hit another person with a 10%. You get Victor back, and then you can down that person again and go for somebody else. Also, they, they said on Twitter, you can, um... You can't hit Victor if he hits it, people. Healthy people. So what you literally do is you hit everyone with Victor at the start of the game. You have all four people injured. And now you can just kill everybody with Victor. Even if it's one at a time, you can still quickly just hook that person. Like, I don't... I, I, and the devs just say dodge him. It's like, you can't dodge him. Also, you can, like, switch under the hook. Which is also kind of crazy. Even, let's say Charlotte's away from the hook. And someone's going for a save right under the hook. You can hit them with Victor and then you can down them. And there's nothing they can do. Uh, because you cannot kick him anymore if he successfully hits you. And this is not taking into account the, the faster times. So twins will no longer be as punished if they're being greedy because they're so quick. We haven't even seen the add-ons yet. Um, so I actually think this twins might be a little bit busted. I, I It's very hard to say right now. Can't play PTB. Um, they're going to be a lot harder to counter because healing doesn't matter anymore. And you're wasting time healing as well because he can just keep injuring you. Um, and let's say you down a survivor across the map, and they get healed. You can see on the HUD they've been healed and send Victor back. Injured a guy that just healed them and downed them, downed them again. I still think they're going to be very sluggy in that way. I, I, yeah, it's gonna be, it's going to be very interesting. I don't know like how Killer Instinct works when Victor's idle. I don't know how it's gonna work um, with him on the guy on the floor. Like if they'll be able to recover or not. I have no idea. I don't know if you'll keep the haste if they pull Victor off early. I don't know if there'll be an indicator on the HUD. There's no HUD here. I don't know if there'll be an indicator of Victor is still on the person on the floor. Because say there is, then you'll know immediately that they're being healed. Um, but if this rework is the way I think it's going to be, I think they're actually going to be kind of insanely strong. They're going to be very different. But they're going to be easier to play, harder to counter, really annoying. <laughs> um, 
So, I don't like this rework in the way that I think it's unhealthy for the game. I think they're going to be really, really annoying to play against a survivor. Because I don't know how you'll be able to counter them, apart from just dodge Victor and Doctor... Uh, Doctor. Victor is one of the hard... Um, one of the strongest anti-loops in the game. You can go on a locker, but then Charlotte has the 10% haste. Lockers don't really counter me right now. If someone goes on locker against me, I just put Victor back. You know, I put Victor back in front of the locker, and then I just wait for them to go out, and then I kill them and whatnot. It's... This rework is scary. But Tuesday, PDB should be with us on Tuesday. I'm going to play it. Uh, but I actually don't hate this rework as as um, compared to when I first saw it. So I just wanted to say that. <laughs> so you know that I don't actually hate this rework. I, I still don't think it's good. <laughs> but I think they're going to be very weird. They're going to be very strong. And it's going to be interesting to see. So, yeah. We will see uh, on Tuesday how it is. Hopeless illusion. Oh, 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 oh,